Have you ever thought about the importance of trucks in our lives? Europe's trucks fulfill a huge range of functions and come in all shapes and sizes. Bringing food to our local supermarket or online orders to our door, they deliver 18 billion tons of goods each year. When it comes to fuel efficiency, European truck manufacturers are world leaders. Since 1965, the fuel consumption of European trucks, and with that CO2 emissions, has come down by 60%, despite conflicting emissions regulations. At the same time as these CO2 reductions, truck makers have still managed to deliver enormous advances in air quality. Pollutant emissions have been slashed to near zero levels. They are down 98% since 1990. All heavy-duty vehicles in Europe together account for just 5% of our greenhouse gas emissions, but are responsible for carrying 75% of freight over land. As a result of investments by the industry in fuel-efficient technologies, a modern truck can transport one ton of goods up to a distance of 100 kilometers using as little as one liter of fuel, and thereby also makes a significant contribution to reducing CO2 emissions. These improvements have been driven by market forces because fuel accounts for over one-third of total operating costs of the companies who buy and operate trucks and buses. Truck makers are on track with their commitment to reduce fuel consumption from new vehicles by 20% over the 2005 to 2020 period. Further improving the fuel efficiency and CO2 emissions of heavy-duty vehicles tops their agenda. However, truck manufacturers advocate a far more ambitious approach to reducing CO2 for the future, as there is much more than new vehicles alone that determine CO2 emissions. Firstly, because new trucks only represent 10% of the fleet, they want to look at the entire vehicle fleet rather than just focus on new vehicles alone. Secondly, there are many more factors besides vehicle technology that determine emissions. Measures that show great potential to cut down CO2 emissions more holistically include, among others, more effective trailer combinations. Replacing three regular trucks with two longer ones, for example, can bring about a 15 to 25 percent reduction in fuel consumption. Low rolling resistance tires can be retrofitted to any vehicle at little cost and provide improvements of around 4 percent. Renewable fuels, for instance, second generation biodiesel, is twice as efficient as common diesel. One of the most prominent candidates for a quick win is driver training. At a minimal cost, the potential reduction is as high as 7%. Keeping road infrastructure in good condition, together with better design and efficient use, can potentially reduce CO2 emissions by around 4% in the next five years. Intelligent transport systems, for example, truck platooning, which is the linking of two or three self-driving trucks in convoy, is expected to deliver additional CO2 reductions of up to 5%. Combined with the industry's continuous improvements to vehicle technology, these measures have the potential to combat CO2 emissions more successfully. This means that if we move from a new vehicle-only approach to a fully integrated approach, Europe could more than double the annual CO2 reduction rate from road transport. If all relevant stakeholders join forces, we'll be able to unlock the full potential of further reducing CO2 emissions and reach ambitious environmental targets.